stupid thing doesn't work. Who needs a ladder when you have a jetpack anyway? Oh, check this out. This is cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're out over the edge of the cliff. Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are still working on our base. So, I'm actually um, down over the side of the uh, cliff here where the base is up there, and I need to make a whole bunch of glass. Lovely. Um, and so, what I thought I might do is actually burrow into the side of the mountain and maybe eventually make um, a tunnel all the way up, you know, so like a ground access area to the base. I don't know if, that, if that'll work or not, but uh, that's what I f figured I'd try. If it doesn't work out well, you know, at least we got some more, um, some more silicate for the glass. So what I wanted to kind of do is try and line up my line on the south as best as I could, and so if we do that, we're going to need... Uh, so that, that puts the south right about... It's kind of hard to say where the center is, actually. Right about there is pretty damn close. So that means we need to kind of slide over this way. Yeah, we're going to get in trouble with this damn storm. To do a, do a direct south. You know, I don't know if that's going to work, though, because... It's not perpendicular with the cliff face itself. So yeah, let's forget the south thing. Ah, shit. Alright, let's get this taken care of first. Um, these storms are nasty. So, uh, the other thing is, do I want to start it all the way down on the ground or start it up on this hill? Because you can actually get up this hill. I, and you know that that's just going to be that much further down that we would have to dig if we if we don't. So I think we should start up on the hill here. Good lord, this storm sucks. All right, it's a good thing I got plenty of sodium. I need some more phosphorus to charge my my heat protection things. Unless well, can we make the um, ion batteries? Yes, we can. Here, let's make a couple of those, and then we'll go here. We'll charge that one, and... Okay, well, anyway, we got one of them charged. Okay, so, anyway. Um... So we want to just kind of line ourselves up, I guess, with... the base. Like I said, this is, this is going to be really hard for me to... I think... get this to work. To line it up perfectly, but... we're going to try it. So, I guess we could start the tunnel right about here, maybe even... Here-ish. Okay. So, we want, um... What do we want? We want this guy. But we want him in the largest... Uh, what am I trying to do here? Yeah, we want him in the largest sphere. Okay, what? How come I can't get it out? There we go. Okay. Alright. And then we want to try and keep ourselves somewhat level two here. We didn't do a very good job of keeping a level there, did we? And we got to keep our eye up on the base there, too, so we keep it... Why aren't you... Oh, you know what? That's like... Bedrock. Oh, shit. Okay, so much for my idea of doing this, and this ain't gonna work. <laughs> I just realized it. Yeah, I can't bur- I can't... Burrow into this. This is like bedrock. Oh, man! That sucks! That looks like a little barnacles on that. Really weird. Or fossils or something. Whoa! That's a cave down there. 
Holy smokes! Look at that. How funny. Okay, well, um... Forget that idea. Aw, <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. I wanted, to, I wanted to burrow and have an access tunnel. Well, okay, so much for that idea, huh? Ain't gonna work. Um, well, we just need to find a place then to dig up a bunch of dirt, because I need a bunch of silica. So let's just go back down here. I'm curious, too. I wonder, I wonder how far in we could burrow into the side of the mountain down here. If we just tried it. My guess is probably not very far, but let's just see what happens. Okay, well, we can go back that far. There's probably... Okay, yeah, look, we just hit the quote-unquote bedrock right there. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, those look like barnacles. Weird. Okay. Well, all right. The other thing that just occurred to me, too, is I actually should be... If I want... Whoa! VR lockup. If I want to get the, uh... The most quantity, I really need to be using the small... Uh, the small sphere. So, let's get that going. Whoops. There. Okay, well, I guess, guys, I'm just gonna dig around in here until I have enough to make some silicate. Uh, our, our next part of the base quest where we have to check the base computer is now ready. And uh, I got some more done, but I wanted to bring you back for this next part anyway. So let me go ahead and just mine up a little bit of this. And uh, I will meet you back up at the base, okay? Alright guys, we are back and I should have a nice little supply of uh, silicate here. Where are we at? Here we go. I thought I overshot it, but I didn't. So let's go ahead and land. And that's what I've got going on the base so far, by the way. So I managed to um, get these other foundations in place, so they're more or less... I mean, you can see there is a little bit of a gap in there, but that's the best I can do with it. Um, and then I put the square buildings in the center. And we got a ladder in there. I tried to get, like, a little ramp thing going on these pavers, but the, he, there isn't anything I could find that would work with that. I think maybe later on we'll be able to learn some stairs, and we might be able to make that work. I'm not really sure. Uh, so for now, we just have to kind of hop up here uh, to go inside. This ladder is bugged, too. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but every time I, I set it down, it works the first time, and then I can't use it again. So we pretty much just have to jetpack to get up on the second floor here. And then, uh, yeah, so we got all these rooms here. And I might, I might go up higher, too. Uh, I could go up higher on all of them if I wanted to, but I think this will be a good start for the rooms. But I wanted to... Uh, I want to make the observation deck next, and I wanted to do that with you guys. So let's uh, go get some glass made up here, because we're gonna, I'm going to make the glass dome for that. And we also, uh, I want to make some more glass corridors as well. So let's open this guy up. We'll pull that ferrite out of there. That was from some um, uh, paraffinium that I had. And then we'll put all of this uh, silicate powder... I should have a crap ton. Yeah, there we go. In there. And same thing over here on this guy. Pull that out of there. And then silicate powder. Okay, so we'll get that going up. Now, uh, let me show you what the plan is here. This is I like the way this base is coming together. I, overall, I think it's working pretty good. Considering it's my first time doing it, you know. Uh, all right, so what I want to do is I want to run... I, I kind of was thinking about 
maybe whoa shit we're right on the edge uh maybe running a ramp down back down to the ground and then out but if we do that then we have to go back outside to get to our observation post which is not necessarily a bad thing i mean it's not that big of a deal if we did have to do that but i don't know i kind of wanted everything to stay in close so if we everything stays enclosed what we're going to have to do well you know what now that I think about it, okay, there's another possibility here. We could run another building out. Mm. I was going to say, we could run another building out and then do a floor down and then go out. But, I don't know if I like that idea or not. Just because the next building is going to be halfway over the side of the cliff. And I kind of wanted the overhang to be, like, all the way over the side of the cliff. So, okay, let's look at something here. If we go here, and we go here, and we pop that guy on there, and that guy on there, and we're going to need more glass. But, yeah, we're. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add another, one more on there, so that's, a, so that's three... And then we'll put the observation out over the edge of the cliff. I think that's how we're going to have to do that. Rather than try and bring it down. Because like I said, if we bring it down, the edge of the building is going to be here. And then ha almost half of it's going to be hanging off the side of the cliff. And I think that'll look kind of weird. Uh, not that it isn't going to look weird what I am going to do. But <laughs> uh, uh, it'd be really cool too if you could get like a glass bottom. Like a glass floor. But I don't know if that's possible. Uh, you know what else would be neat is if we could put like a catwalk or rails around it. Hmm. There is a lot. There are a lot more building parts that I don't have yet, so that's a possibility. Okay, so let's check our glass here. So we got five pieces there. Let's reload that with a full stack. Okay, and same thing here. Um, so we'll put that in there. Whoops. There we go. That'll probably be enough glass for what we need to do. All right, let's go over here. Do a manual save. And now, um, on our missions, it's ready for us to search the archive for the next thing. So this is just still wanting us to do the construction terminal. And that uh, wants us to do the archives. Okay, so let's do the archives and see what happens. I, I'm going to rename this too when I can when I can do so in normal mode. Um, okay, wait a minute. Capture new, upload base, delete base, leave. Base computer online, archives available. Archives process restored. Interact with the base computer to learn more. What? We just did interact with it. What the hell? Well, here we go. Automated archive recovery and process. Progress. Data recover 50%. New data available. Search archive. Search construction database. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one. Base technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Save point plans restored. Oh, nice. Okay, so we learned the save point. That's actually useful. Okay, so base computer archives interact base computer more really again. Additional data available from the log. Search archives. Entry forty nine twenty five follows. My execute has directed me to a crashed starship. Gazit controls react to my touch, and I can only assume it belongs to me. Gazit, no memory of it, no sense of before. That's what happens when you when you first start the game. What the hell? Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Um, okay, that was weird. That was weird. Okay, so it wants us to do a save point. To do that, we're gonna, that's a portable item, I believe. Yeah. We need two metals in a dihyde jelly. We can handle that. That's easy mode. I'm still wondering why I can't make my... I'm still wondering why I can't make more of the vaults, though. Or maybe we can now. Okay, so for the save point... Uh, 
I guess we can put that in here. Maybe behind the ladder? Looks like a good place for a save point to me. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's look at something here. Can I put more storage in now? Uh, nope, wrong menu. We want to go here. Storage. No, man, it still only lets me do one. What's going on here? I don't have these built anywhere else. Oh, wait a minute. These don't count towards your freighter storage, do they? I don't think so. I think that's a different... That's different. Because I have all ten of those on the, fre on the freighter anyway. We're going to have to go up to the anomaly and look at that, I guess. That seems bugged to me, though. And if I can't make all my storage, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I'm just... You know, you gotta have it, right? Yeah, something's weird, man. Okay, let's get all of this stuff. I don't think we need to make any more glass. I don't think. We'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure those don't count towards freighter storage. Because there are two different types of storage. And I hope that's the case. Um, and even if it did, how come it let me make one of those when I have all ten already on with the freighter? You know what I mean? Okay, so, let's get another corridor on here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we want a glass corridor. Okay. And I th think that's far enough out. Now what we want to do is we want to get the biodome. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. oh, look at that, you guys. <laughs> that is cool. That is freaking cool. It's hanging out over the cliff. Look at that. It would be so cool if we could, like, have a glass bottom in it, though, you know? I don't know how you would do that, though. Uh, that gives me an idea. Well, let's go up in there first. Let's go check it out. That damn ladder, don't... Stupid thing doesn't work. Who needs a ladder when you have a jetpack anyway? Aw, oh, check this out. This is cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're out over the edge of the cliff. Oh, that's right. You, I guess you use these things for farms, don't you? Oh, that's neat, though. That is super neat. Well, we can start our first farm in here, at least. Can we put, like, a ladder up there and climb out the top? Let's, let's see. Uh, we want this. We want that. No, it doesn't look like we can do that. That'd be cool. This biotome is neat, though. Check this place out. <laughs> We're right over the edge of the cliff. This reminds me of a. Uh, I went on a on a cruise on Royal Caribbean uh, in June with my family. And uh, on the ship, they had they had a uh, a hot tub with a, with a, like a glass dome. It wasn't as big as this, of course, but with a glass dome, and it actually stuck out over the edge of the ship, and it was like way up on one of the upper decks. Like, you know, this is like a 15-deck-high ship. It's a huge cruise ship. Uh, it's no longer... It's it's called um, uh, Freedom of the Seas, if you guys are familiar at all with Royal Caribbean. In 2008, I think it was, 2010, it was the largest cruise ship in the world. Uh, but now there, there's more, there's ships that are larger. But anyway, that just kind of reminded me of that. Pretty cool. Okay, well, uh, this is neat. This is neat. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Hanging out right over the edge of the cliff there. So, yeah, I did this more as a, 
kind of an observation deck, not so much as a farm. But, I mean, we, we might as well use it for that, too, when we get to that point. So, I think, guys, for the moment, I think I'm done with the structures of this base. For the moment. Not permanently, but I think that gets us far enough along to where we can start doing some of the other things. I am, like I said, I'm really concerned about why I can't make the rest of these storage containers. So, I'll tell you what, let's hop up to the anomaly real quick, because this is right up there. Not that that matters, because I can call it in anywhere, but let's just hop up there real quick and go look at the, um, oh, I just hit my base. <laughs> go look at the, uh, the building supply thingies and see if we can figure out why, if I'm missing something or why I can't learn all that stuff. Doesn't make sense. Unless I'm just not far enough along in the quest. A little VR lock up there. Big, big VR lock up. So yeah, that could be it. Maybe I'm just not far enough along in the quest. But let's look at it anyway. And just see what it says. Back on the Space Anomaly. Okay, so it's this thing here. So, um, we're looking for storage. Those are cubed, large glass panel. You know what we ought to do, you guys? A viewing sphere. That's what we should be hanging over the side of the cliff, not a biodome. I need ten. I gotta go farm up some more salvage data. Or we could even, like, put a foundation out there and then surround it with glass. Oh, they got raised pavers there, and they've got those foundations. Hmm. Was I given the option of making those? I don't remember. I mean, I, I, I know them, but I don't remember those showing up in the menu. Okay, so, let's see. I don't... I don't know... What's on the other side of that guy's head? Uh... Shutter... Something. Shutter door, maybe? Alright, so these are large prefabs. Small prefabs. Technology modules. So you have got... The one container learned. What's this? Appearance modifier. Customize personal visuals. Oh, okay. So you can make one of those for your deal. Oh, I need the landing pad too. I need all of this stuff. Uh, okay, my my guess. See, that only lets you learn zero. So my guess. Excuse me. Hello. Pardon me, sir. Uh, my guess is that I um need to ke just keep working on the quest and, and it'll unlock the rest of that stuff. Oh, see, now I could use that, too, because that would be like the ramp up to that little walkway. What is that? Primitive shapes? Concrete shelters, metal shelters, agricultural modules, fungal cluster. Ah, okay, so that's how you plant your stuff. Buildable ornament to beautify your base. Okay. Potted plant. So those are all decorations, but these are the actual things that you plant. Gotcha. Okay. And a hydroponic tray. Nice. There's so much stuff here we still have to learn. Like a bunch of stuff. Those are all the switches. What's that? Oh, a supply pipe, right? Okay. Okay, well, I think the answer, guys, is we just got to keep working on the quest. Uh, and hopefully all that rest of that stuff will become available to us as we as we do that. But, you know, now that I saw that observation sphere, and I actually did know that was there, I just forgot about it, we probably won't keep the glass biodome there. Because that's kind of, you know, that's supposed to be for farms anyways. I mean, I'm going to keep it there for now, but once we can learn that other thing, then that's what we'll do. 
But I am definitely going to need to do some more salvage module farming too. But right now, we're just going to stick to the base quests. Uh, do I need to get anything out of there? I don't think so. I probably do, but whatever that would be, I don't know. So let's just keep following the base quest and hopefully the storage containers and some of the other stuff will unlock to us so we don't have to buy it all. And it doesn't look like we can buy anything more than just the zero storage container anyway. It's too bad I didn't know that because then I wouldn't have even bought that one. I would have waited until we, you know, could, could learn it all. That is pretty cool looking though. Look at our base down there. It's coming along with our little observation deck hanging out over the edge of the cliff. I like it. I like it. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> That's neat. Fun stuff. Okay, let's land our ship here. So the next thing that it wants us to do on the base is it wants us to build the obser or the construction terminal. So let's do that. And I think I it when in a little before Beyond, whatever the last update was, because I played it a couple weeks before Beyond came out, it would only let you put one terminal in one of the round buildings. And I wonder if that's still the case. But it looks to me like you could put four in one of these if you put them all in the corner. So let's just see what happens. If we go to Specialist and we go to... No, that's not what we want. We want tech. Specialist. Uh, what's that do? Oh. Okay, so construction terminal. So if we're going to put this in here... I mean, yeah, we might as well put it there. There's no reason not to. Okay, cool. So now we have to hire an overseer, which I believe has to be a GEC. So we're going to have to find a GEC for this thing. But if we could put, like, four terminals in one square building, that would actually be handy. I just don't... Uh, hey, that's off the floor. What the hell? <laughs> that's a little weird. Okay, let's see what the quest says here. Uh, base archives. Wait for... Okay, that's the different thing. The different quest. Here we go. Expanding the base. Hire a base overseer. I've established a core of a habitable base out in the wilds. This planet seems a suitable place to settle down, at least for the time being. I should expand and staff my base if I'm going to make a success out of my new home. Okay, so we got to go find an overseer. And again, I believe that overseer is going to be a geck. Did it give us a marker for that? Uh, I thought it just popped something down and said marker. You know what? We might as well at least make use of this storage. So let's get some power hooked up to it. To do that, there's our power node there. So how can we do this and make it look nice? We're going to have to come... We could come off of the solar panel. Okay, let's try this here. Power. Okay, so we could. What we want to do is come to the edge of here and keep it as straight as possible. Right, pretty much right along that seam there should be good. Okay, and then we want to come. No, I want you to be down on the ground there. Looks like that's as good as it's going to let me do it. Okay, that works. Alright, well, at least we got this storage now. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! That kind of explains it, you guys. This stuff is in my freighter. I thought for sure, though, I had a zero storage on the freighter. That's 
That's weird. That is weird. Okay. Um. Let's go up to the freighter. And there goes the damn timer, too. Okay, let's do a quick manual save here. We don't even really need that beacon there anymore. Let's pick it up. Because we've got uh, the save point, manual save point in there. Let's just hop up to the freighter real quick before I let you go, because I could have sworn I have 10 storage units already up there. So maybe the thing, maybe the thing in the anomaly is, just gives you one extra storage. I was under the impression, though, that the storage that you have on the freighter was separate storage from what you would have on a base. But the stuff I'm seeing in there is, I should be in one of the storage things up here. So I'm a little confused about that. So we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look-see. So let's hop up here. But that, I guess that would explain why I can't put storage on the base then. That kind of sucks though, because I mean... If I have to choose between base storage and freighter storage... The freighter storage is much more useful because it can follow you around. But you can't get to it while you're at the base. Yeah, so I got two... Four... Six... Eight... Ten. I've got all ten storage units in here, so I, including that zero storage container. Is that this one here? It is. Well, then why can't I... If I can make this one, why can't I make the rest of them down there and have them just be the same storage? That would be useful, because then I can get to my stuff from the base, and I don't have to come up here. I still wonder if something's bugged. It's either that, or it's just because I haven't gone far enough in the quest yet to get to where it wants me to build storage. Um, that would that would be my guess. Okay, well, anyway, guys. Um, the, I guess the next step for us, then, is... Uh, to find an overseer so we can continue advancing the quest. And so that's what we're going to do. Look at that ship. That is, uh, it's a Class B. Okay. It's kind of like mine a little bit. They're both Explorer class anyway. There's another Explorer class ship. And he is a Class A with 29 slots. What have we got coming in over here? I haven't even looked at ships lately. That's a Fighter Class B, and that is... A class B2. Okay. Alright, well, guys, I guess that's it for this episode. So, I'm going to let you go here. And, uh, I'll probably look around for an overseer. Uh, which we need to go to a GEC system for that. So, I'll probably just go to the space station and then just use the teleporter. Uh, to, uh, you know... In fact, this... I don't remember what system this is. I think this is a... Corvac system, but I'm not 100% positive. And, uh, so we'll find that overseer, and then we're just gonna keep working on the base quest, so that we can, uh, keep advancing and getting the stuff that we need for the base. One of my major goals for the base is, you know, to, to get into those larger refiners. Uh, do, do we have the... Is this a fleet battle thingy, or is this a guy wanting to join my... Oh, I lost it already. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll just adva keep advancing the quest. Oh, I know what I was saying. Yeah, I want to get to the point where I can at least start doing large refiners. Uh, because we can, you know, make stuff that we need higher level stuff like for example I've got one upgrade that I can't finish because I need deuterium and I only have like a hundred that I found somewhere but I believe you can make deuterium 
with the large refiner. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Guys, have a great rest of your day, week, whatever. Remember, I am on a business trip this week, so this uh, this is probably going to be the last video I'm going to uh, have uh, record until I get back. So, because it's starting to get kind of late. So, yeah, um, what, but when I do get back, which will be in, uh, like, September 22nd or something like that, somewhere around there, uh, then we will resume the videos and keep going on the series and keep having fun here in No Man's Sky. So, guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in a week from now. Take care.